Hello guys, today I'm going to talk about education credential assessment. Everyone has heard about this during the process of immigration to Canada and I think it's one of the most important process especially when you're starting off with it. So what exactly does ECA stand for? ECA stands for education credential assessment. What does that mean? First of all, it is to check whether your education credentials are valid and secondly, how equivalent are they to the Canadian education standards. There are two main essential things which you must obtain while you're applying for the ECA process. First is to get the ECA report which you'll get by the end of your education credential assessment and secondly is a reference number which gets generated during the end of this process and it is highlighted in your report. So your ECA is generally done with your highest level of education. For example, if you have done your bachelor's, then uh, that would be, that may might be your highest education. Then you would be assessing your credentials. How equivalent is it to a bachelor's of Canada? And if in instance you have done your master's, then how much equivalent is it to a Canadian master's? And is it valid or not? There are basically several organizations which conduct a uh, credential evaluation assessment and um, there are basic five organizations. First is Comparative Education Service. Second is International Credential Assessment Service of Canada. Third is World Education Services. Fourth is International Qualification Assessment Service. And fifth is International Credential Evaluation Service. If these are the five organizations from which you can get your education credential um, assessed. And um, apart from that, if in case you have a specific degree, for example, if you're a doctor or if you're a pharmacist, there are different boards which assess the credential evalu uh, assessment, which do the credential assessment. For example, if you are a pharmacist, so there is a pharmacy board of Canada. So they basically assess your uh, education degree. All this information is present on the World Education Services website. And that's from where I am putting up this information. I'll also put the link to the website in the description box. So basically the report is valid for five years and whenever you're applying for the um, PR during the process, your report has to be valid during that time. So I started off the process with uh, World Education Services. That's the one which I use to assess my credential documents. And uh, there are basically five simple steps to apply for uh, getting your WES done or getting your ECA done more precise. So let's start with the five steps on applying for your ECA. So the first and the foremost step is to create your account on the World Education Services website. Um, this is how it will look. So second step is to enter the details, your personal details. And uh, basically you also choose which country you are getting your education credentials assessed for. So here you will choose Canada. And uh, then you enter your details which uh, involve your name, your uh, date of birth, your uh, personal information, your email address, your telephone number. And um, then you choose which degree are you getting assessed, whether it's a master's degree or it's a bachelor's degree. So the third step is to upload a copy of your degree. And um, for example, I completed my bachelor's and master's degree from one university in, uh, in, from India. And then I did my master's in a different country that was from UK. So I had to get all my credentials assessed. Basically, you just need to get your highest level of education. Um, so these things keep changing upon with time. So when I got it, I had to assess all my degrees at that time. So I got my bachelor's degree assessed and my master's degree assessed. And I also got my other master's degree assessed, which was from a different university from a separate country. So the fourth step is that the university from where you have completed your degree sends your transcripts directly to the World Education Services. It's a very straightforward process, but this is often the process which takes the maximum time. So um, you have to download a form which is called as uh, academic request form and that is a form which is available again on the World Education Services website. Once you open up your account, you will be able to access that. Once you download that form, you have to fill that form and send it to your university which contains all the details and um, basically your role number, your uh, course which you did, your course number and they will generate a transcript which is a record of all your subjects and uh, whatever score you obtain and that will be directly sent out to the World Education Services. 
So while you're filling up this form, uh, keep in mind that there might be some fees involved with the university as well to process it in addition to the fees which WES charges you for. So keep in mind the expenses which come along during this process. Once your form is received by the World Education Services, they take almost a week or so or maybe a couple of weeks to assess your educational credential and see how valid they are and once they are done then they send the report to you so the report is generally sent back also online onto the portal so once you have filled up the form and send it to the university there will be the last step which is to pay the fees of course you wouldn't be able to move ahead without this process so once you pay that fees uh, the WES starts processing your application and also once they have received all your uh, transcripts from the university. So maybe after a week you will hear back or maybe a couple of weeks depending on how your application is going about. Uh, you will receive an update on your portal that your WES report has been generated. So you will be able to get that report and you can download it as well. Um, you can also get the report by post to you, by mail to you. Uh, the only difference in that is there is a stamp of WES in the hard copy of your report. So I preferred to get that one just in case anyone asks me ahead. And also in future with your jobs, it might be helpful to have the stamped one with you. But it's completely your personal choice whether you just want to keep your uh, digital copy or you want to have your hard copy. So these are basically the five easy steps to get your ECA done. Let me know in how many days you got your ECA done and how easy was it for you. I got my ECA done in, I guess, uh, I got a response in two weeks. And uh, since I had, to, I had to get my ECA done from different universities, from different countries, the timeline also varies. So those were the five steps to get your ECA done quickly and uh, be prepared on how the process goes ahead. If you like the video, give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.